there is no level of certainty coming out of Ekuruleni. What we do know is that uh, intense negotiations have been going on with regards to this specific municipality as we do know that uh, the economic freedom fighters may walk out with a mayor here today, this afternoon, which may be Nkululego Dunga, who is the provincial chairperson of the economic freedom fighters. But that is all dependent on the ANC core, which is led by Mzwandi Lemasina. If they do feel the candidate, then Tanya Campbell may come back as the executive mayor of Ekurulene, but just on the processes, I am going to speak to the speaker of, uh, of this specific municipality, Ekurulene, just on the processes, as we've also seen the EFF Deputy President Floyd Shivambu who has come to oversee this process. Mr. Lamini, just the process of the vote of a new mayor here today, how is that going to unfold? Uh, today, uh, good morning and good morning to your viewers at home. No, thank you very much. Uh, straightforward, uh, the processes, we're going to use Schedule 3 on the structures, uh, that's how we're going to do it. It's going to be a secret ballot, the IEC, they are here, so everything will run smooth. What we're going to do now, quick five minutes meeting with all the whips of various uh, caucuses, just to take them through the processes before we go to council. Then when we go to council, find all of us, we're in the same page. That's what's going to happen. Are there any other motions that may be at play just apart from this? What is the agenda of this specific council meeting? Is it only squarely the motion of voting of a new mayor? Yeah, this is an extraordinary council meeting which is talking about only one item. The resolution that was taken by council on the 26th, uh, I think, uh, of October. So on that, it, it was straightforward that uh, this extraordinary council meeting is going to be one item. The one item is to vote for a new mayor, nothing else. Thank you very much, Speaker. That is the Speaker of the Council, Mr. Raymond Lamine, as we're also seeing that uh, the leadership of the economic freedom fighters in that V-class Mercedes bus, the Nkulule Gotunga, is engaging with the EFF Deputy President Floyd Nyiko Shivambu, who has also arrived here to oversee this council meeting yesterday evening. There was negotiations between the ANC and the EFF led by TK Nguiza, the regional secretary, the provincial secretary rather of the ANC and the provincial chairperson Panyaza Lusufi with the EFF and also the minority parties, the Super 7, in negotiations of the EFF getting its first mayor, which would see Dunga being the mayor and splitting the MMC position, seven of them going to the ANC and also the speaker position going to the ANC. We were told through our sources that Mzwandila Masina was offered the position of speaker should the be a motion of no confidence against the current speaker Raymond Lamini, but Mzwandi Lamasina seemingly defying his own organization, the ANC, and the RC of the ANC yesterday in the region, saying that they are not moving from their position of the 2021 in moving and having the ANC being the mayoral candidate here in the city of Akure. And I am going to call in now Mr. Nkululego Dunga, as you are seeing him here with the regional secretary of the ANC here in Ekuruleni. We are just quickly going to engage with them. Uh, gentlemen, just a quick question to Mr. Dunga. Are you working out as the mayor here this afternoon? Like you uh, are dumbstruckingly, no. Like uh, council will resolve. You would know that EFF owns 13.5% or commands 13.5% of council and therefore that determination that you are making cannot be made because there must be 50% at least of council that agrees. So the EFF might want to be in charge and might want to go in, but it's all entirely up to the council itself to decide. The negotiations that are taking place between yourselves and the ANC and the Super 7 minority parties, how far did that go? <laughs> we have long explained in terms of what those discussions surrounded uh, economic development in the city and in the province in itself, but also uh, understanding issues of um, service delivery across the entire province. So it had minimal or no engagement particularly in terms of uh, the need for self-gratification in positions. How is it going to work now since you are the provincial chairperson, you've recently held an, uh, a regional people's uh, general council where a new regional chairperson was elected. How is council now going to fare? Are you still going to be leading the caucus or the new regional chairperson will now effectively become the leader of the caucus here? Yeah, well, the EFF uh, operates much more differently to any other organization. Uh, the first point is that I am still the party leader of the EFF caucus here in the city of Egorleni through seniority. Uh, in, in the representation of council here. Uh, the second part is that the, there are never expectations from those who assume political positions within the EFF in wanting uh, to assume uh, governance positions because the two are not interlinked. You would know that I was a chairperson of the EFF in my first term 
uh, and I never assumed an office of being a public representative of the EFF. Would well, you like to see your provincial chairperson walking out here as the mayor this afternoon through the negotiations that have been taking place in the past 24 hours? No, that would be good, but the council shall decide on that. What are your leadership telling you? I saw you engaging with the deputy president of your party, Mr. Floyd no, Nikoshivambu. That's not for the public to know. It was just a party discussion. Is he going to be addressing caucus this morning? No, it's not going to happen now. Thank you very much. That is the regional leadership of the Economic Freedom Fighters. There were negotiations taking place that they may have their first mayor in Gauteng in the all seven municipalities and the three metros and they were initially gunning to take over Twane but uh, through the grapevine an opportunity has opened up for them to seize power here in Ekuruleni but they are facing resistance from the ANC caucus and also the Democratic Alliance has been openly clear that they will not go into any formal coalition with the economic freedom fighters but I am going to just quickly ask Mr. Parker just to speak on the processes from a municipality perspective Mr. Paki, just from the municipality's perspective, how have you prepared for this vote of, uh, not vote of no confidence, but a vote for a new mayor of the city? Good morning, Somkelo, and good morning to your viewers. Um, as a municipality, we are guided by the law. In this case, it's the Municipal Structures Act. We are guided by Schedule 3, which outlines how the process will go. Uh, over and above that, we are working with the IEC. They're going to be overlooking the secret ballot. They'll be printing the ballots and be assisting the parties uh, count the votes at the end of the day. The city is also going through a very a financial crunch. How are you as a city responding to the financial crunch that you are facing as you may be facing issues of not being able to pay salaries in the next few months? You are unable to pay some of the service providers on time. What's going on with the finances of the city? The finance of the city is stable. Look, we had a crunch time during the stage six load shedding and obviously uh, COVID, the knock-on effect that happened thereof. But we've got a very capable city manager, uh, Dr. Imojan Mashazi. She's been a public administrator for over 20 years. We've introduced some cost containment measures in terms of all the niceties are gone. Uh, also, we have a business continuity plan that we've enforced. So whatever happens in council, uh, the city remains, service delivery remains, salaries have been paid, we don't have any issues with paying salaries. There's just a small backlog with paying some service providers, but that should be wrapped up before the end of the year. Thank you very much, Mr. Paramila. That is Mr. Paramila who speaks on behalf of the city of Ekuruleni. As you've heard, that uh, they will be voting for a new mayor shortly, which council starts at 10 o'clock this morning. The speaker, Raymond Labine, is going to meet with the various whips of the various councils. I am also seeing... Alko Ngobese from the IFP. I'm just going to ask someone just to grab Mr. Alko Ngobese there for me from the economic, from the IFP, the Inkata Freedom Party, whom are also part of this particular motion. They do have an MMC currently in the city, which is the MMC of transport, and it is Mr. Alko Ngobese. Last time around, they did vote with the Democratic Alliance against the motion of no confidence against Mayor, or former Executive Mayor Tanya Campbell. Mr. Alko Ngobese, the position of the IFP here today, how are you voting in council when it comes to the new voting in of the new executive mayor? Uh, good morning uh, to you, uh, Samge, and good morning to your viewers. Our, our position remains that we are still in a coalition uh, with the Democratic Alliance, Action SA, and other political parties that are there. And um, so our, our mandate is that we stick to that uh, arrangement. So if you were to be presented with, number two, uh, with an opportunity, why far the negotiations? Are you still fielding Ms., uh, Mrs. Tanya Campbell as the executive mayor from the Democratic Alliance perspective? Yes, um, according to our discussions last, last night, uh, it was clear that the DA will still field the same candidate, um, Alda woman uh, Tanya Campbell, uh, to, be, to be the candidate. So we are in, in, in that arrangement. Thank you very much, Mr. Al Congo Bese. We just get a response from the ANC's Lisib Mpi, who is the regional spokesperson. Mr. Mpi, your RSC met yesterday evening. What was your resolution? The PEC met during the course of the day in a special PEC meeting, saying that the, your provincial secretary, Tiki Ngiza, and your provincial chairperson, Panyaza Lisufi, must go handle negotiations. We are told your RSC resolved to field Mzwandi Lamasina opposed to the PEC decision. So there was no RSC meeting. Uh, Yesterday there was a POB meeting uh, conven convening the RSC, outlining the line of march. Uh, the overarching issue is that uh, whatever product that must come from this meeting uh, has got to be in the best interest of the masses of our people. Uh, and coalition, uh, co coalition discussions uh, are a terrain of the uh, you know, uh, provincial office bearer. 
and that is the that is the line that we respect right now uh, w look uh, there is no re decision that says that the ANC is fielding a particular candidate uh, we are currently briefing the caucus of the ANC on how to move forward and uh, I think uh, from for, uh, for, for, for now we shall remain uh, in suspense uh, until we have briefed the caucus of the African National Congress. But what is fundamentally clear is that we have succeeded in a motion that seeks to uh, isolate those that are uh, neglecting township hostels and informal settlements. And I think we are going to then supplement it with uh, a competent person who will uh, definitely take up the, those pertinent issues up. In short, because you're out of time, so you may be fielding a candidate from the Economic Freedom Fighters from or any other party. We may we may be fielding a a, a, a candidate from either party, uh, provided that the maximum pro program of our people being uh, uh, given the the dignity they deserve uh, comes out at tops. Thank you very much, Mr. Mpia. Here you have it, the Mr. Lesibo Mpia saying, Lesibo Mpia saying that the ANC may be fielding a candidate from another political party. We are highly tipped by our sources that may be Nkulule Gotunga from the Economic Freedom Fighters. As you see, the EFF Deputy President Floyd Inyiko Shivambu and also the provincial and also their Secretary General Marshal Damini here in council to oversee the entire process. Samkele, I want to ask you to play the hypothetical game. If indeed the EFF does prevail here and a mayor comes uh, from their ranks, they're always going to be having a pushback just in terms of the numbers. Uh, the uh, ANC sitting at 86, DA 65, the EFF only 31. It's going to be very difficult for them to push decisions through. It may not necessarily be very difficult for the EFF to push uh, decisions through because you've already seen in the last motion of no confidence that removed Mayor uh, Tanya Campbell that they did the parties that removed uh, Mayor Tanya Campbell did have the numbers. It would effectively mean that the EFF would be joining those numbers that removed Mayor Tanya Campbell. As you heard Mr. Lisiba Mpia saying that they may be fielding a candidate from other from another political mm. parties mm. Uh, which is the economic freedom fighters. What we also do know is that in the city of Johannesburg, they did have a new coalition taking over for 25 days with Tadam Morero being the executive mayor for that time period, which saw the economic freedom fighters voting with the ANC. What you are seeing here is the start of negotiations going towards the 2024 general election for the province of Gauteng. Okay. And it is pretty clear that the province will definitely be hung in 2024 with the ANC and all other parties failing to get outright majorities in all seven Gauteng municipalities which saw coalition governments being formed. So the EFF have been very clear that they now want to take responsibility and govern and showcase South Africans going towards 2024 what they can do in government.